Tonight for dinner, we are gonna do my famous spoon roast. We call it that because by the time you're done, it is so tender that you can almost cut it with a spoon. It's really simple. I'm gonna show you exactly how to make it. Very, very easy. You cook it pretty much all day long, low and slow. We're gonna put some carrots around it. You can do potatoes if you want to. I don't because they're a trigger food for me and I will eat all the potatoes with a lot of butter on them. But you certainly could do that. Simple, simple recipe, but tender as can be. Your family will love it. Let's start. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I make the most tender, delicious roast you could imagine. So I'm using, let me put this back a little bit for you guys. I'm using my star frit. This, you guys have noticed I'm using this all the time. I love it. I will link this on Amazon. Um, a lot of you have gone to their website. I do have a 20% off coupon for their website, but many of you have told me that it's cheaper to get it on, on Amazon. So I will link it for you, this product. So you saw I just put a couple of tablespoons of garlic in here. And you know, basically what it is, is it's an electric cooker, but it's graphite. It doesn't heat up on the sides. It's easy to clean. You control the temperature because it is electric. I'll show you right here. So it gives you, I don't know, it just gives you so much function. I just love it can't say enough okay so i've got this kind of preheating in here with a little bit of olive oil so i'm going to let that get mixed through for a minute okay next while the garlic is kind of doing its thing i'm just going to slice up one small onion and we're not going to dice it we're just kind of do some slices so that it can caramelize down here in the pan. Turn this up a little bit. Okay. So all I do is just throw them in here. Okay, so just like that. I always like to have a towel with me, you know, because just in case, big mess. Anyway, let's get this kind of caramelized a little bit. All right, and I'm gonna put a little, um, it looks like this is canola, but I like to use olive oil, but I don't have it near me. Let's throw that in. Okay, we're gonna let these brown up a little bit. And I am gonna show you, I'm gonna do two of these because we have big eaters in our family. So I've had this marinating. So what you wanna look for is your tender cut of roast, whichever one you prefer. You can kind of see this, this does have some fat through it, but not a ton at all. And I marinated this for two days. I marinated this for two days, and what's in here is a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, two tablespoons of apple cider. The apple cider will penetrate the meat and help tenderize it. Then I also have two tablespoons of garlic, one in here, one in the other bag. I put a little bit of sesame oil in here, and by a little bit, I mean like a half a teaspoon onion powder, we talked about garlic. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Oh, couple dashes of soy sauce. That's the marinade that I used. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is sear the meat on both sides. And if you can, go ahead and sear it on all four sides. 
you know, sometimes there's not, the sides aren't very big. And the reason that you're gonna sear it is because that helps break down the muscle fibers. I know that's kind of gross, but that's just the truth of it. And when you break down the muscle fibers, you get a more tender um, experience with the meat that you're cooking. I don't know about you guys, but I'm telling you, there is nothing to me worse than spending a ton of time doing a roast and it comes out like, you know, shoe leather, as they say. But this one will not, I promise. So we're just going to let that sear on both sides. You just want to get your pan screaming hot. So you get a little color on your meat. Sear it on both sides, on all four. If you can kind of stand it up on the side, that's even better. And then all we're gonna do, okay, so that looks good. We've got that kind of browned up on both sides now. Let's flip the other one and I'll show you guys. Yummy. Okay, this is my absolute favorite. Better than bouillon, vegetable. Now, you might say, well, why aren't you using beef because you're working with beef? The flavor of the vegetable, in my opinion, is just really deep and delicious. You can see it's kind of liquidy, like not very liquidy, you know, it's like a demi-glaze. So I'm gonna take that's probably a teaspoon, I'm sorry, a tablespoon. Get it in there, and then we're just gonna pour some water in so that we can get it moving. But we don't wanna boil the meat, that's for sure. And then from there, okay, so once you put the lid on, you're gonna let this go for, on low, for probably four hours, easily. Sometimes I go five or six, depending on the cut of meat, but you wanna do low and slow. So let me just give you a gauge. On this, I'm gonna kick this down to 200, and I'm probably gonna let this go because I have two substantial pieces. This will probably cook six hours. The way that the longer you cook it, the more that it just, by the time we're done cooking this, you we call it spoon roast because you can just about cut it with a spoon. It is that tender. So I'm gonna get going on that and I will catch up with you guys around hour four and we're gonna put some carrots in here. It's been about an hour, so I'm gonna tilt this down and show you what this looks like. All right, let's see, okay. So here's what it looks like. And you can see the onions have totally kind of caramelized and disintegrated into what's gonna be our au jus, essentially. Just put the lid back on and let that go. Just let it do its thing leave the lid on, it'll be perfectly fine. Real, real low, you can even do it in a crock pot, hours. Okay, I just thought I'd let you know it's been about four hours and I just threw in my carrots. I think we have about another hour to go. I'm gonna make that, you know, it'll randomly start boiling and it's probably because I just opened this to throw the carrots in so it brought it down in temperature. So when that happens, it'll bring it back up to pace. So anyway, I'll kind of watch that. Oh, well, it's kind of settling down already. Anyway, I think we've got about another hour to go. But isn't that looking good? We are ready. Look at that. See how tender, you guys? Really, really tender. Absolutely perfect. It took about... Took about five and a half hours, but this is gonna be delicious.